Hello and welcome to Shapes. This is a tutorial on how to do the quad printer, which is this right here. These have to have power to them and you have to run wire and switch. That's done on a different level than anything else. So we're gonna bring in the colors. Oops, not that way, Robert. It's my first day playing, right? Uh, so there's what I want right there. So this is going to come down and hit there. This is going to come down and go that way. We're also going to split the conveyor, the rotating. Oh, come on. Right key, Robert. There it is. I'm going to bring this one up, over and in, over and in. Then we're going to use tunneling on this one. If you're not at that level, you push, you would be at this level if you were, if you didn't have tunneling already. So, bring the red in right there. It looks like I went the wrong way. Now we're going to bring in shapes. What we're needing is a circle shape. Let's see where we let's see where we can get one. Let's see if we have any byproduct anywhere else. This is my color field. It's a lot of waste right there if I use that. Obviously we're not gonna get any circles out of that. Right, go out a little bit further, see where we can steal from. See what we're deleting here. We have circles there, and we are backed up wide a ways. So let's go ahead and steal from here. First thing I want to do is get a conveyor or a uh, splitter, which in this case is going to be uh, either way. Let's zoom out. We are trying to get to down here. So we're going to do bridge the divide, rotate, boom, go as far as possible, might as well. Oops, not, not, not to do it, not, not to click something. Okay, now let's slide down here and go back to one. Bringing the circle down to the color printer. Basically, it's going to print in two different colors. It's going to create a shape that we're looking for. Go, that way. go back to the tunnel again. Oops, the wrong way. We're going to bring that shape over right down. Now, this is where you have to add the wire. You hit E on the keyboard, go down to the bottom here, here's your wire. Go here, go there, 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 and then one out. Then you're going to get your switch right here. Now, watch your switch. See where your knot is sticking. Knot is sticking to the left. We're going to put that in. We're going to switch it on. See how when it starts moving in the background there, on the, it's, it's switched on. So you can turn it off on the surface by going like that or like that. See? So, It'll, it'll stop the machine. Now I'm going to put storage in right after this because we're going to need to make this shape. Okay. So we're going for this shape over here, this 3500 one. It's oscillating. We're going to do a merge block, another merge block. Same time, we're going to rotate one of them and we're going to rotate one of them as well here. We're going to come out there and really the best part about this is I need to do uh, I'm too far too close so I need to put in a splitter 
This way I get equal distribution. I'm going to put another splitter in here and here. Then I'm going to put in a cut block, a, merge, a rotate block here and here, and then a merge block here and here. We're trying to oscillate the setup. Now we're going to come out and we're going to go straight into another merge. I think I got this right. There we go. What it does is it shrinks it down and shrinks the next one down. So, it, you know. Now we're going to put a storage container on the front of that. We're going to come off of that and we're going to go straight into this other conveyor. We could use this one, but it, it slows it down. So we want to use is this one right here. This allows us to turn and go in. And we're just one way of traffic, two ways of traffic going to one. Mm. 3006. There's how you make a color printer that does two different colors. I'm pretty sure there's other methods. If I put the red together, it would paint two on one side and two on the other side white. It'd be half and half, basically. Then I could do the rotate and cut, you know, which it would just be the same thing. Wouldn't be a circle, it'd be like a pattern. Uh, one side I have a, one pattern on. I guess it, I could alternate it. Yeah, it'd look good. But instead of quarters, it'd be halves. But that's how you set up a quad printer. And then this is how you gain the shape by rotating it. And the key thing is to try this out. You block this off and go, oh, that's not what I want. Then you see, I have to rotate counterclock. So that right there is, I'm doing a 90 degree rotate. If I go to this one, it's counterclockwise. Or this one is 180 degrees. This is just your clockwise rotation by 90 degrees. So, and then as you can see, the biggest problem with painting with white paint is you have to bring all the colors into one and that's your difficulty. Now you can add multiple paints in there. And when I sit there, you rotate with T until you find out uh, that's the one I need right there. So we're going to come out of there, come straight down. And we're going to do the same thing over here, go back to two, come out of there. And on this one, we're going to bridge. Mm. So what I'm going to have to do is go take this out because I have to bridge right. Bridge, bridge. And we're going to turn this one and go this way. Turn this one and go that way. Let's erase one of these, Robert. When in doubt, there we go. And we're going to bring it back in. So we're going to go T again. Rotate. It's still the wrong direction. There it is right there. And you're looking for the arrows to match. How did I get a purple one in there? It's going to jam up on me if I don't watch it. Did I get a purple? No, no it's not. That increases your speed. So what we're having a problem with is the production of this color right here. But I do have 10,000 sitting behind it. Just not producing fast. Green is coming from a whale. But basically, you know, there's no purple. And you have to make purple, white, and, and uh, aqua colors to get it to work. But that's how you set it up. Now, if you want to reset this up again and again, you hit V or hit control and drag your mouse and then you hit V for or C for copy. It's going to cost me 180 of these, which I have 120,000 of them. And you just go over and set it down again. So I, I have that set down and then I'd bring in the colors again and turn it on like I need to. But I'm not gonna mess with that. I wanted to get rid of that. 
cool. The key when setting this up is to develop your colors. The only problem is white is heavily used, it uses a lot of paint, and that's your biggest problem. And so as you can see, I'll show you my whole setup so far. Um, it goes way out. I got, you know, just go around and find in shapes. So this might be, but I want to have red, blue, and green together, so that's not a good area. So right here would be a good area to bring my colors together. Right here. Make my purples and aquas. and Then I got half circles, star, square, uh, half circle. Half circles. I could draw and make a circle easily there. There's a circle with a square and make a box. And that's just what you have to do. See, this is a star, but I can also make the these these purple these uh, forty six thousand over here. I can make that one off that one corner by rotating and chopping. The star I can make off the other one, and a box I can make off the other one. So it depends on what I need. So, and there you have it. It started making something down here, but. Didn't, didn't finish it. Thanks for watching, like, and subscribe.